Hello, this is Maureen Legas with today's Technology Tidbit in the 21 Days 2014 series. Today we're going to talk about LinkedIn. And I notice when I do tech training that a lot of the agents are afraid of LinkedIn. They don't know what it is. They don't know what they're supposed to do with it. And they're much more comfortable with a Facebook uh, type of social media. So today we're going to just uh, talk about LinkedIn, what it is, how we should use it, um, and then how we set that up. So first to understand LinkedIn, I went over to the Wikipedia. And what it says about LinkedIn, that it is a, a business-oriented social networking service. It's been around since 2003. Um, it's used for professional networking, and that's um, different than a Facebook. Facebook would be more social networking. So this is professional networking. It's kind of like an online resume for you. Um, talks about the membership, and the site is available in 20 languages. So this is a widespread um, business-oriented social media system. Okay, so let's look at the features of LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, you, you're allowed to create a profile and then you connect to other people on the social network. Um, it's business relationship professional connections. So users, when you sign in, you can connect to people um, and it's going to ask you about your relationship with that person. It's going to kind of scrutinize to make sure you, re, you have some kind of relationship with that person before it allows the connection. And then you would use that relationship to build other relationships with people that they are connected to. So you'll have a first degree connection that's someone that you're connected to, maybe a coworker, and then you might have a second degree connection which is a, when you connect to a friend of that coworker. You can use it to find jobs, business opportunities, employers search it to look for candidates, um, job seekers can look for managers, you could post your information, photos, other kind of information so people can identify who you are as they look at your profiles. And in real estate, we could use this maybe to look for businesses that are relocating to the area where we work um, or relationships with people in businesses that you could start to build so that you could become the uh, preferred realtor perhaps for that business. And again, it talks here about this gated access approach. So that's where the contact, when you contact any professional, you have to either have an existing relationship or you have to ask them to help you connect with people that they're related to. So that helps build the trust among the users that the people that are connected to people are, are it's not just spam, it's not just, um, running out there trying to connect to as many people as you can, you have to connect to people through some kind of business relationship. So LinkedIn also uses groups. And the groups um, that are formed, mostly the groups that are formed are business groups, employment related groups. There's a Keller Williams group, maybe a Keller Williams referral group. There might be um, uh, college groups, uh, uh, for the university that you attended, there might be a group for that. They mostly find that it's going to be business, academic related groups, but you can have other groups of interest um, that might form. And groups are important because you can become part of the group and build a relationship within that group. And that also helps with your social standing with folks that you might want to connect with. So for sure, you might look to join your um, school groups and your business groups and get to know people through the LinkedIn group network. All right, so if you want to learn more about LinkedIn, you can look at the Wikipedia. It has all kinds of information for you and uh, you can get a better understanding. But let's go over to LinkedIn and see what does it actually look like. Okay, so when you come over to LinkedIn.com, you can either sign in if you have an account or click to join now, enter your information and click and then you, be, you get a membership and you go through the steps and it'll help you set up your profile. All right, so let's look at my active account. Okay, so once signed in to LinkedIn, um, I come to my home page and I'm able to see some things um, 
that stand out. So first of all, up here, your mail. You might have some messages that people have sent you through LinkedIn and you can click to reply or delete the message. You'd have notifications of information, people, what they picked or posted or people that endorsed you. Um, and we're going to talk about what that means, but that would be under your notifications. And then you might have invitations from people to connect with them or um, suggestions for people that you might want to connect with. So you can go through here and make sure that you know who the people are. So this is a client of mine. So I see he's asked to connect. I can just click the plus sign and accept the invitation. And then that that means now I have that connection. And then over along the, bot, uh, the, uh, the bottom black line, there's two black lines here. The darker one, there's home. There's your profile. Edit your profile. See who viewed your profile. Look at your updates. Um, connections. Add connections, find alumni from schools that you attended, jobs and interests, companies, groups that you might belong to. All right, so let's go look at the profile. So when I click on my profile, it takes me to my profile page. It automatically starts asking me questions to try to help me build my profile. You can answer them, you can skip them, or you can close the box over here. So I'm gonna close the box. And then it shows you the profile. As you roll over, you can see that you're able to edit. So I can change my photo. If I roll up here, I can edit my background picture. I roll here, I can edit what my jobs are. I can um, see, I see my connections. I have over 500 connections. Now the thing with LinkedIn, it stops counting once you hit 500. And so you wanna get to 500 so when uh, potential clients look at your profile or uh, businesses looking to work with you, they can see that you're connected. They don't know how, so I could have 501, they don't know. So you wanna have 500 connections, so you work towards connecting with people that you know, or people that you'd like to know. The 500 connections shouldn't necessarily be everybody you're in business with, because you're already connected to them. If you wanna to connect to some agents in other parts of the country that you form a relationship with for referral business, um, then that would be a good type of connection to have. Uh, and I'm not saying not to connect with your local office, but don't just focus on that. Um, so down here it says, who viewed my profile? So it says 13 people viewed the profile in the past 90 days, and my rank for profile views moved down by 12, 12%. So that means less people last week looked at my profile than before. So it says who looked at your profile. You can see some of that information, um, but some of it is not available unless you buy the premium paid version. And I don't have the premium paid version. I just use the free version. Okay, so let's see what's on the profile page besides this. If I drag the page down, there's a little bit of a summary that I've um, written about me. You can edit that summary. There's your work experience. So I have uh, different jobs. I have KW approved trainer, Keller Williams, and then how long I've been the approved trainer for about two years now. And then some people that have recommended me as the approved trainer. So their recommendations appear here. And as many people um, see more, so you can have a bunch of recommendations. They'll show two of the top recommendations. Okay, so let's go back and continue to look at the profile, see what's on that profile. And after the job experience, recommendations, then additional job experience. And so you can list all the positions you've held and uh, groups you belong to. So I'm a realtor in CDPE. I'm a, I'm a member of the Associate Technology Council for Keller Williams, and I was with uh, Ali Lassen's networking group. And so you keep going down the page to look at what's on your profile. This is what people will see when they come to look at your profile. And then skills and endorsements. So these are different uh, skills related to real estate that I have and the people that have endorsed me. It shows a little image of who they are, but the number of people that have said that you are a professional in that skill. And then some other skills that I know about here, this went to 21, so here's some other people that have endorsed for different different skills. Okay, and then it talks about education. 
um, and the school. So here's a group. The if you wherever you went to college, you should join that group, and be part of that, and be connected and participate in that group, and then additional information about your profile. Okay, and then people again the recommendation show up, um, and people can recommend. You can ask uh, clients to recommend you here. You can ask coworkers to recommend you, and that shows up here on your profile. So then the first step would be creating your account and getting your profile set up. And once you're set up, then you start making connections. And the way you do that is up here at the top on LinkedIn, you would, let's say you were going to connect with other Keller Williams people. Then you start uh, typing Keller Williams and then search ideas come up. You want to search for people who work there, people who used to work there, jobs at Keller Williams, people who are associated with these um, some people will say Keller Williams, Keller Williams Realty, so whatever that they use in their profile. Um, and then it'll start showing up information about people you can connect with. So let's click people who work at Keller Williams. And you can see that's a large group of people, 4,300 have put in their profile that they work at Keller Williams. So on this side, you can further reduce um, the search. You can add different uh, criteria here and uh, find specifically people that you might be looking for to connect with. So let's say, let's try a connection. Okay, let's say I want to connect with Andrea. I can come over here to the connect button and click that and then it would tell me the invitation is sent or I can choose this down arrow and ask to get introduced because she's a second level connection. That means somebody I'm connected to is connected to Andrea. So I can ask to get introduced or I can send Andrea an email, send her a message for that connection and say, hi Andrea, you might not remember me, we met at the Keller Williams Recruit Select class, you know, whatever that would be. So if we click connect, it will send the invitation. And the reason it's going to send that invitation directly is because there are shared connections. So LinkedIn assumes that I know Andrea because there's many shared connections. So let's say I pick someone that might not have as many shared connections. Okay, so here's Chloe, and Chloe has four shared connect connections, and she's second level, so she's connected to somebody that I'm connected to. Let's see what happens when I click to connect to Chloe. Okay, now it's going to ask me, what's Chloe's email address? It's not sure, the system LinkedIn is not sure if I know Chloe well enough to be able to just connect to her. So I have to know her email and then I have to send her a note and then I send her an invitation through email to connect with me. So it's not going to just allow me that connection. It's going to try to keep, um, to make sure the connections that we have are appropriate. And once you sign in for, for the day, you can come up and see if people have requested to connect with you. And you wouldn't ordinarily just accept the connections. You want to look at those people, see how they're connected, if if they're who they're friends with that you're friends with, and what the business relationship might be. So here's Terry. She's a senior mortgage officer at Fairway Funding. So that's a local funding company, and she's asked to connect with me. And then I can go do a little bit of research on Terry to see who she connected with that's connected to me. And if that might be something that I might want to do, do I want to accept the invitation after I look at her profile? And so that's how you want to uh, go about accepting anyone that has requested to relate to you on LinkedIn. Okay, after you've made some connections, then maybe you want to start joining some groups. So you click up here and, and I went to the University of Florida. So I'm going to see what that pulls up. People who worked at University of Florida, jobs at University of Florida, um, University of Florida Gainesville, or people who studied at University of Florida. Well, maybe first I want to join the University of Florida group. So I'm going to click on University of Florida. And this group I'm already part of, so I can suggest other people join it. But I'm already in this group. And I can make comments as a member of this group, and I can see what other people are commenting and interact with them. 
and become well known in the University of Florida group. I could also search for people who went to University of Florida and connect with people that were at that school. Um, and then down here it tells you how you're connected. I have 21 first degree connections in this group with me and uh, 3,100 second degree connections. So some of the people I'm connected to are connected to others and this would be a good place to start to connect to some of those people. So then you can search for other things up here. For example, Amazon is moving a factory to Florida or building a factory here in Florida. So I click Amazon, people who work at Amazon, jobs at Amazon, and I can go start connecting to people who work at Amazon to let them know that I am a realtor here and might be able to help them with their relocation. So that's another thing, pay attention to the news and see what's going on in your area and use this connect to connect with those people that might need your services, might need your help in the area. All right, so that's it to get started. Once you kind of got all of these things settled, then I would try searching on YouTube for other tricks for LinkedIn. YouTube has a ton of videos that are uh, great for helping explain systems like LinkedIn. And then you can get more involved and in understanding of how to best use LinkedIn in your business. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.